Hello， 欢迎回到我们的频道。好久不见，我们休息了几个月，终于回来了。今天我们想和你分享五个你可能犯的天机错误，让你办法变得更壮。最后，我今天来到了 PT Pro Fitness， 我们要练背还有肩膀。在组间休息的时候，我们会跟你们分享这些增肌时的训练还有饮食控制的错误。如果你觉得这个影片对你有帮助，记得底下的留言让我们知道。还有，不要忘了去我们的频道最大的赞助商 v e r v 的官网去看看新上架的服饰。那我们开始吧。Guys. Mistake number one is blindly copying the pros. If you're just blindly following a workout because one of your favorite pro bodybuilders does it without actually thinking what the reasoning behind their training protocol is, you are making a massive mistake. You need to understand that being a pro does not guarantee knowledge or expertise in any way or form when it comes to nutrition and training. While there are pros that are very intelligent and know what they're doing, there are also plenty of them that say and do the silliest crap you can imagine, and still manage to get great results for themselves. You know, pros have number one, great muscle building genetics. Basically, whatever they do, it works. They can train with shitty form consistently and a partial range of motion, and still grow a ton of muscle. And number two. A lot of the pros are using steroids, especially if they are competing in the FBB or other untested organization. The steroid can dramatically enhance the capability to build muscle, recover, and even get away with injury. So, in conclusion, don't just follow a pro workout or their advice just because they are pros. Make sure that what they're saying makes sense and that there is some logic behind their ideas and thoughts. If you are new to fitness and the gym, do some research. Talk to different people and gather opinions, or directly find a qualified trainer or a strength and conditioning professional to help you out. Otherwise, you may end up injured or, in the least, highly disappointed with your muscle building results. <laughs> Yoyang,过度有氧,有氧对健康很好,即便你的主要目标是增肌,你还是可以把它加到你的日常生活当中,问题在于当你做太多,它就会开始影响到你的重量训练,如果你想要最大化你的肌肉成长,那你必须把大
Basically, he mentioned to me that he's not gaining any weight, that he doesn't seem to be putting on any more muscle and that he cannot explain why. I asked him to elaborate more on his diet and it turns out that most of the time he just eats, you know, what we consider a typical bodybuilding diet of chicken breast, broccoli, rice, sweet potatoes and stuff like that. These foods are fine and are very nutritious and are good choices for building muscle. But the issue that can come up from eating like this is that you may not be achieving the calorie surplus needed to build muscle efficiently. These choices of foods are not very high in calories and are quite filling. So they can blunt your appetite and therefore, by the end of the day, you may not end up eating enough food to fuel the muscle building process. So what to do instead? Keep eating nutritious food to reach your micronutrient and essential fats requirements, but don't go overboard. Don't be afraid of adding to your diet some higher calorie options. Instead of eating chicken breast all the time, why not go for some beef or chicken thigh? Finally, have a burger or some pizza a bit more frequently. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly recommend Bear as an awesome gym clothing brand. They have lots of new items in multiple colors such as this SY stretch uh, tanks and t-shirts which will help bring out those big muscles of yours that you work so hard for. <laughs> but truly, they are incredibly well tapered. They are basically what I wear 90% of the time. The other 10% of the time I'm usually shirtless or naked, depending on the occasion. <laughs> there are a lot of options for the ladies as well. So if you want to buy some for your girlfriend, they can make a perfect gift. Dress fair, like this handsome fella right here, and join the team. Use my promo code BBSEP for extra discount. I promise you will not regret.训练不足或者是训练过度但是你同时也不应该练得太过头这些都是你必须留意的状态。Mistake number five, guys. Not being consistent with your calorie intake. This is a mistake that I gathered from my friend Dr. Jackson Pierce's book the Ultimate Muscle Gain Handbook, which I highly recommend, by the way. Uh, I will leave the link for that book in the description of the video. Full of great, straightforward info to make gains the right way. Basically, in chapter 12, he makes a great point about how some people may be achieving an overall calorie surplus on a weekly basis, but may not be consuming those calories evenly spread across the week. As explained by Jackson, muscle growth is a slow process. Therefore, there is a limit of how much muscle we can build each week. We can expect to maximize results by having days of suboptimal intake of calories and then compensating for this lack of calories on other days. So, as put by Jackson, avoid jumping in and out of a calorie surplus. The more time you can spend on a positive energy balance, the better the chances you have of building muscle. 
。谢谢你们的收看，今天的影片就先到这里。希望你们喜欢我们今天分享的内容。然后如果有任何疑问，也可以在下方留言告诉我们。记得去逛逛 Ver， 他们有非常多好看又帅气的衣服。结账的时候也可以使用 VV Set 来帮你省一点荷包。谢谢你们的支持，下次见，拜拜拜。Bye Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation, put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah he kinda nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up to clear, my eyes hit record. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swinging the miss, got me hitting these licks. I get the orders, don't get it.